The first thing you should do when you walk up to the table saw is to set the blade height to extend one eighth of an inch above the stock to be cut. Next, you should adjust the height of the blade guard so it sits only a hair above the stock. Third, you should set the rip fence to the measurement needed and then adjust the blade guard side to side so that it covers the blade but still allows the stock to be safely pushed through with your hand or push stick. The item above is needed when the width of the stock to be cut is less than 8 inches, which would bring your hand closer than 4 inches to the blade. Then prepare your stock by having the flat surface down and the jointed edge to the right so that it will set tight to the table and fence. If it is needed, have your push stick within reach, then turn on the saw and stand to the left of the blade with your hip against the table. Now you are ready to make the cut. Your left hand must hold the board down and against the fence. Your left hand stays about four inches from the blade and doesn't move. Your right hand must push the board until the back end reaches the front edge of the table. Then angle your hand or push stick toward the fence and push the board all the way through until it's off the table to avoid kickback. To keep the board from pulling away from the fence when ripping, you must put your hand closer to the blade side and push at an angle toward the fence. Lastly, shut off the saw and wait for the blade to come to a complete stop before working near the table, removing scrap, or leaving the machine. The blade guard on the table saw should never be removed unless approved by the instructor. Cutting with the grain is called ripping. Cutting across the grain is called cross cutting. You can only cut using the fence if the length of the board along the fence is greater than the width of the board side to side. It is never okay to use the miter gauge and rip fence together in the same operation. The splitter slash riving knife helps to prevent table saw kickbacks. The most common accident on the table saw occurs when the user allows the board to come away from the fence while ripping, causing kickback. Table, miter gauge, fence, blade height adjustment, blade tilt adjustment, 